right in the field. Oh, oh that's that's the biggest flathead I've seen here in this spot. Dylan, what you got there? Got a fish on. I think it's a flathead. There's some bite. This is our first fish of the day, and we just caught some jumbo bluegill. And we cut them up. It's our first anchor spot. Dylan here is with Come his. Up. Oh. I thought he was. Is it poor drag? Yeah, a little bit. Dylan is one of my patrons, and he has his dad Lance with us. Oh, this may be a good fish. Still waiting to see him. Oh, oh that's that's the biggest flathead I've seen here in this spot, and I'd recommend you get head first. Okay. This is your personal best, brother. Oh yes, Dylan. <laughs> This is a monster. This is, that's, that's a good fish. Oh my goodness, that's huge. That is a good fish. Good flathead. It's tough with that current, isn't it? Oh yeah, it adds a little bit of challenge. You want to stand up here, Dylan? That was quick, too. That was quick. Hey, this is all you guys. This is a good sized fish right here. You want to Dylan? <laughs> I'm getting this sucker in the boat. It's a good fish. Yeah, it is a good fish. Looks like he's pounded in that one. What are you guessing, Joe? Uh, I can't tell. It looked like maybe upper 20s, low 30s. He's gonna fight you. He probably got another five, five minutes before a fight left in him. Be better. Guys, we have. A giant flathead on right on the shatter cat rod oh, there we go that is a big boy that is a big boy <laughs> Woo! Knox! <laughs> good job guys good job Dylan holy moly gotta get a picture of that oh yeah guys right on the cut bluegill here big chunk yeah, I'd probably say, I don't know, maybe mid to upper 20s. Kind of hard to tell, but we'll get a weight on her. Ah, beautiful that fish. Is, right is that yeah. your uh, personal that best? Is my personal best for sure. That's awesome. All right. 29.92. It's at 29 minus the net. You're looking. 28. That's my biggest fish. Biggest fish ever. Next. All right, now hold the fish. Now grab this under his lip, right? And that one? Yeah. So put your, uh, and then you'll put your other hand underneath his belly so that all the pressure's not on his jaw. Okay. And he, he has a big head, so I just recommend you go like this, and then you'll just you. come underneath of him like that, and then you'll have a, you can hold him horizontally. Get in there, yeah. Now hold the other one under his belly. That is nice. Okay, hold on a second. I gotta get another one. Three, two, one. And give him time to revive a little bit. And he'll start kicking away. And maybe, there you go. Think he's good? Uh, move him back and forth a little bit. There you go. Beautiful fish. She goes. Nox, brother. Heck yeah. Congratulations. Good wow. job, net man. All right. Yeah, we got it. That was big. That was awesome. All right, guys. We have Dylan with us today and his dad, Lance. They are patrons of mine and they came all the way from Knoxville to experience uh, the Tennessee River. Well, actually, Dylan is. Uh, he went to UTC and did some fishing down here. So, was that your first flathead? That was my first, I think. That's awesome. Personal best catfish. And now we're going to get Lance on a big pounds. one as well. We had a big cold front come in. Uh, it's pretty windy, but we ended up catching some jumbo bluegill. I mean, look at this. Huge bluegill, typically does really well in the colder months, um, but we're just anchored on this current seam. They got the floodgates going below Chickamauga Dam, pretty fast current. So we're gonna get on some more, so stay tuned. 
Guys, we have been waiting and waiting for a fish. And we finally got something good. Dylan, can you reel that one in? Yeah. And you're finding all that current too. Lance, uh, what you got one. there? I think I got a keeper. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and the current will fool you too. I mean, but he was peeling drag. He hit hard too. Guys, this is our third catfish of the day. Dylan caught one on the light tackle stuff or the ultralight rod when we were getting bluegill, and then he ended up catching his personal best of 28 pounds, a flathead. And this one's a blue. Trifecta. I think we got the trifecta, hopefully. Does it feel big? Hard to tell. Hard to tell. I know the current can... Oh, this one's getting a bite. Ah, uh, I don't think he's in the line. Yes, sir. Feeling some good drag there, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, there he is, round the demon dragon. He's a good one. There we go. All right. Probably a 10. That's a blue? That's a blue. Perfect. Right on the skipjack. And right on the demon dragon. He's probably, I don't know, maybe 12. 10, 12, yeah. Something like that. Three, two, one. All right, nice fish. Good one. No, no, tail first. Yeah, put in water. tail first, and then those work like vice grips, and you just pull those apart, and he'll be good to go. You just shake it out if you need to. There he goes. Back to the depths. Nux. All right. I'm on the board. You're on the board. All right, guys. We're going to go and call quits for today. Three catfish. Pretty slow, but... Dylan here ended up catching his personal best, flathead. Congratulations, man. And then his dad, Lance, um, joined us and he caught his first ever blue catfish. So, and we caught the trifecta. I didn't get the channel cat on video, but Dylan caught a channel, a flathead, and dad here caught the blue. So, and uh, pretty slow though. Um, this is our last spot, but I think we're gonna go ahead and just call it a day and head back home. So, as always guys, give a thumbs up for this video great day thank you and we'll see you later